your car's engine burns fuel, creates fire, and makes power. But what stops it from becoming a furnace? Not oil, not metal strength, but a constant, unseen flow. Coolant. This liquid guardian silently soaks and carries heat away, before destruction. Strange, isn't it? A machine so loud depends on something so quiet. If you've ever trusted your car on a long drive, you've trusted this invisible shield. Today, we're exploring every pipe, pump, and valve of the hidden cooling system that keeps engines alive. The First Journey of Coolant The story begins at the radiator, the place where fresh coolant is filled into the system. From here, the circulation pump takes command. Its job is to draw the liquid and send it deep into the block with steady force. The pump is driven by the engine itself, and as long as the motor runs, the coolant is always moving. The liquid first enters a channel built into the front cover of the crankcase. This narrow passage guides it straight into the cooling jacket that surrounds the cylinders. The jacket is like a hidden chamber, wrapping tightly around the walls where fuel burns with explosive heat. Every second, combustion sends out waves of energy that could melt metal if left unchecked. The coolant absorbs this energy, carrying it away before damage can begin. This first stage may seem simple, but it is vital. It marks the beginning of a cycle that repeats endlessly while the engine runs. Without the pump's push and the jacket's protection, the motor would overheat within minutes. Step by step, the coolant proves its purpose to guard the heart of the machine and prepare for the next part of its hidden journey. Passage through the gasket. After leaving the cylinder jacket, the coolant enters a precise route. It flows through small holes placed in the cylinder head gasket. These holes are not random. They are carefully sized and aligned to guide the liquid upward into the head. Once inside, the coolant spreads across narrow passages, washing around valves and combustion chambers. The head is a zone of extreme heat where fuel ignites and pressure rises. Without steady cooling, it would crack or warp in minutes. From here, part of the fluid is directed to warm the intake manifold. This prevents fuel from condensing and helps the engine run smoothly in cold conditions. The rest continues through its hidden tunnels, moving toward the outlet. Every drop follows its role, either protecting hot metal or preparing air and fuel for combustion. The journey through the gasket shows how precision design keeps the engine alive. The web of connections. From the head, the coolant enters a larger network of paths. A strong pipe links the circulation pump with the thermostat housing. This pipe acts like a bridge, carrying the liquid toward the point where decisions are made. Inside the thermostat housing, the main outlet from the head meets the locking element of the thermostat. This small but powerful part decides the direction of the flow. When the engine is cold, the path toward the radiator is sealed. The liquid is sent back toward the pump instead, keeping the circulation short and controlled. The thermostat is built to react only to heat. As the coolant rises in temperature, the element slowly begins to shift. This motion opens or closes channels with precise timing. The web of connections makes sure that the coolant is never idle. Every loop, every pipe, and every valve work together to balance the system. The great circuit and the upper hose. When the thermostat unlocks the passage, the coolant takes a longer path. The liquid leaves the housing and enters the upper radiator hose. This wide tube directs the heated coolant into the radiator core. Here, thin metal channels and cooling fins wait to absorb the heat. Air rushes past these fins, either from vehicle motion or from the cooling fan, carrying the heat away into the atmosphere. At the top sits the radiator cap. It may look simple, but it is a safety device with two valves inside. 
One valve releases excess pressure when the liquid expands. The other allows fluid back into the system when pressure drops. Together, the hose, the radiator, and the cap form the great circuit of cooling. The system is now open, wide, and ready to handle higher temperatures. This stage ensures that the engine can keep running for hours without crossing into danger. When the engine stays cold. At the start of a drive, the coolant is still cool, often far below the working range. In this stage, the thermostat closes the path to the radiator. The liquid does not travel through the long circuit. Instead, it takes a short loop that runs from the head back into the pump. This loop allows the engine to heat up quickly, reaching the right temperature for smooth operation. Cold metal parts expand unevenly, and fuel does not burn fully when the engine is too cold. By holding the coolant away from the radiator, the thermostat makes sure the motor warms up in a steady rhythm. The short loop repeats again and again, with the coolant carrying only a small amount of heat each time. Slowly, the whole block and head begin to balance out. Once the coolant approaches the set point, the thermostat prepares to act. This stage is quiet but vital as it sets the engine on track for efficient and safe performance. Heat transfer and warming up. As the engine runs, the walls of the cylinders give off constant heat. The coolant moves past them, pulling the energy into its flow. Each pass raises the temperature of the liquid a little more. The circulation continues and the coolant gathers more heat from the head, the valves, and the combustion chambers. When the liquid approaches about 80 degrees Celsius, the thermostat begins to change. The locking part inside it reacts to the rising heat, sliding open with slow precision. This movement allows the coolant to leave the short loop and enter the larger path toward the radiator. At the same time, the smaller channels that once returned fluid to the pump are closed. The system now switches from a warm-up cycle to a cooling cycle. The steady flow of coolant keeps moving, always carrying away the heat of burning fuel. The moment the thermostat responds is the balance point that allows the engine to run with strength and stability. The critical point. Sometimes the heat inside the engine climbs higher than expected. Long climbs, heavy loads, or blocked airflow can push the coolant toward its limits. As the liquid grows hotter, it expands and pressure begins to build inside the system. The radiator cap is prepared for this moment. Inside the cap sits the outlet valve designed to open when pressure crosses a safe line. Once triggered, the valve releases both fluid and pressure into the expansion tank. This simple act prevents pipes, seals, or the radiator itself from bursting under stress. The expansion tank waits calmly at the side, collecting the overflow. It is not wasted liquid, but a reserve held for later. The critical point shows the safety built into the system. Without the release valve, even a short spike could cause lasting damage. Instead, the coolant is given a way out, the pressure is balanced, and the engine can continue running. This defense works quietly, protecting the machine at the very edge of danger. The vacuum that follows. After the engine shuts down, the fire in the cylinders fades and the block begins to cool. The coolant that once swelled with heat now contracts. As its volume shrinks, a vacuum forms inside the sealed system. If nothing was done, the pipes could collapse under this pull. Here, the second part of the radiator cap plays its role. The inlet valve responds when the vacuum reaches a set point. It opens softly, allowing liquid from the expansion tank to flow back into the system. What was once pushed out under pressure is now welcomed back under suction. This back and forth keeps the coolant level steady without the need for constant attention. The tank is never just a container. It is a partner that works with pressure and vacuum alike. This process repeats every day with every trip. Heat stretches the system outward, cold pulls it inward, and the valves hold the balance. 
the vacuum stage proves that even cooling requires control in both directions. Everyday operation of the cycle. On the road, the cooling system is always at work, shifting between its small loop and its large loop. In city traffic, where the vehicle stops often, the coolant warms quickly. The thermostat reacts, opening and closing in small steps to keep the temperature within range. When driving on open highways, steady airflow through the radiator helps remove more heat, and the thermostat adjusts again to prevent the engine from running too cold. This constant balancing act happens without the driver noticing. The pump keeps pushing, the thermostat keeps deciding, and the radiator keeps releasing heat into the air. Even when outside weather changes from freezing mornings to hot afternoons, the cycle remains reliable. Each part, from hose to valve, serves a single purpose, to hold the engine steady against changing conditions. The coolant never rests, moving through short routes, long paths, and back again. Every day, operation is a silent guardian, turning raw combustion into smooth power that lasts for thousands of miles. The cooling system is not only pipes, valves, and liquid. It is the quiet shield that lets the engine live. Every channel, every loop, every release of pressure protects against heat that could destroy metal in seconds. Without it, no journey would last, no machine would endure. What seems like a hidden background process is in truth the foundation of performance. The next time you hear an engine running strong, remember the silent flow beneath it. It is the unseen partner, turning fire into motion and risk into power. Thanks for watching, and until the next story.